excited to think about the fact that there are other evangelists sitting in this crowd. In this crowd, right now, there are evangelists. There are prophets. There are pastors and teachers and apostles. There are people with gifts of healing and the gift of the prophetic and the gift of miracles and the gift of faith and the gift of helps and all the gifts are present here. His power is present. The anointing is present. God has given you His Holy Spirit. And God has empowered you. And you are the prophetic fulfillment of the words of Jesus when He said, anyone who believes in me will do these works and even greater. We have to turn away from anything that is not the genuine power of the Holy Spirit. We have to be so hungry, so thirsty, that we're willing to lay hold of those promises and cling to Him until something happens. I'm not letting you go, Jesus. I'm not letting you go. I don't know anything else, but all I know is I need to cling to Him. I believe in praying for the sick and seeing them healed. I believe in casting out demons. I believe in praying in tongues. I believe in the prophetic. I believe in preaching the gospel. Now the world may not like it, but they didn't like Jesus. Jesus said, they hated me, they'll hate you too. If they love you too much, there's a problem. If they celebrate you on their TV programs and celebrate you in their books and they celebrate you in their culture, then it's time that you started preaching the gospel. A crossless gospel is a Christless gospel. We need the preaching of the cross again. We need the preaching of the blood of Jesus. Now they may mock us. They may think we're strange. But I'd rather be strange and powerful than cool and powerless. I don't know about you, but I like being different. Because different is what brings change. Now some of you know what I'm talking about. Some of you don't. That's okay. But you know that spirit is out there. It's the spirit of the age. We need to get back to it, church. Are you with me? And let's pursue it now. When it comes to being used by the Holy Spirit, it's not about how gifted you are, how talented you are, or how intelligent you are. It's about how surrendered you are. Catherine Coleman said it best when she said, God is not looking for golden vessels. He's not looking for silver vessels. He's looking for yielded vessels. You don't need any more than what he's already given you. The question is not, how do I get more of the Holy Spirit? He's a person who came in fullness. He's faithful. The question is not, how do I get more of the Holy Spirit? The question is, how does he get more of you? So tonight, are you ready? Yeah. For the next few minutes, I want everyone in this place, I know some of you have driven long hours. I know some of you are tired. But I'm willing to say to Jesus, I'm going to seek you until I find you. How many will say, I'm in, I want to seek him right now? For there is power in the name of Jesus. What we say? There is power in the name of Jesus. There is power in the name of Jesus. To break every chain, break every chain, break every yoke. Do you believe it? There is power in the name of Jesus. There is power in the name of Jesus. Come on, voice and sing. There is power in the name of Jesus. So break every chain, break every chain, break every chain. 
Thank you for watching Encounter TV. Don't forget to subscribe. Also, help me win souls by spreading the gospel through events and media. Make a one-time donation or become a monthly supporter by clicking on the donate link now.